Hi, welcome to Yes Alumni Bangladesh. We wanted to share the awesome achievements that the Yes Alumni did in order to celebrate the 15 years of Yes program. The Yes Alumni in Bangladesh pulled off not two, not five, not 10, but 15 community service projects in order to commemorate the 15 years of YES program and also Global Youth Service Day 2018. And uh, let's hear it from the alumni who did it themselves. We are so proud of them. A project community cleanup was basically taking place in the Gawar slums of Dhaka. The slum people were not aware of the consequences that an unhygienic environment can have on the people. And that is why we collected trash on that day and also took a session upon the hygienic factors that take place from living in a cleaner environment. For GYC 2018, we coordinated a project called Mold the Clay. We did it in two districts in, uh, in Bangladesh, uh, one in Chittagong and the other one in Dinaspur. The idea of Mold the Clay is uh, learning starts from a very young age. So the children aged between 10 to 12 years old, that's a very impressionable age. And we wanted these, this age group to have an understanding, a deeper understanding about morality about empathy, about how to respect others around them, whether it is their friends, their parents or their teachers, and how to nurture those relationships so that they can have a very strong support system around them. In a reproductive health and awareness workshop, what we were concentrating on was the access women have to knowledge about taking a uh, informed decisions about their reproductive health and having sexual autonomy. So what we did was we got groups of medical students and doctors who went to a slum in Tejgao. We divided the groups of women, about 28 women, into two groups and uh, we conducted two different sessions, one on reproductive physiology and one on uh, menstrual and sexual hygiene. So this was about a two hour long workshop where there was a Q&A session and uh, the women they came to the doctors with their questions about their health, family planning, uh, infant uh, health rate and all kinds of problems and uh, health questions about pregnancy and reproductive health in general. Take Solutions to Social Economic Problems uh, is a project that we started in back in 2013 and it was basically uh, to involve uh, the young students of different schools to uh, come up with solutions to common problems around us using technology. We taught those students how to use uh, the social media tools like Facebook, Twitter and we also showed them how to make digital storytelling and make small videos through which they can uh, show the problems around them. Illuminating Mind was a project by Yes Alumni Bangladesh and one of the projects for the Yes 2018-2019 scholars as a part of the enhancement activity. And the scholars plan to do the project with uh, some young underprivileged children to teach them about moral values and health and hygiene, bad touch, good touch, and things like that. So they planned the project on their own and it was so that they can learn something and they can also teach something. Code for Freedom is a basic computer and English lear language learning program for female students. The idea behind this project was to make techno technical and modern technology based education easier for girls and to lessen the gap in equality and existing realities between boys and girls in the educational and job sector. The Leftover Food Rescue project was initiated in association with YES, uh, yes program and YES Alumni Bangladesh and ELC Inspires PD and the students of ELC Inspires PD they volunteered in this project, there are 30 students and what they did in the first place, they went to those restaurants and they explained the purpose of the project and in the second day, 
uh, the students who went to those restaurants they came with the, with the box and they collected those foods and at the, in the, at the end of the second day we distributed those foods among the many hungry and needy people particularly the children so one of our aim that inshallah in the long run we want to make this project sustainable and we want to continue this and another interesting part of the project was that uh, while we were distributing the food to some of the street children and they were like giving us flying kisses oh that's so awesome thank you very much please do do keep it going on a regular basis and actually yeah, that's what we're going to do in the long run from yes alumni bangladesh we created voice for change which is a platform for the youth of bangladesh to come together and share their views on social issues and promote awareness and discourse. To have people from outside alumni working with alumni to have these opportunities and create opportunities for other people, we created a club called Forest for Change Leadership and Diplomacy Club. We thought about creating the spirit of volunteerism in them and for that we created this project called Revival which basically deals with volunteerism, leadership skills and all those qualities and bringing them out to people. So we organized the first revival in Dhaka for the VFCLDC members and then we used and asked the members to volunteer for revival projects in Chittagong for orphans uh, and underprivileged children and in Silet for high school kids who have never had the opportunity to volunteer. About the teacher training project that we did in Dinashpur we wanted the teachers to have a different experience, uh, a different outlook on student psychology and classroom psychology as a whole. So we started off with what we learned in our TOTs by the YES program. We started off with the learning cycles and the different ways they can include project-based learning into their curriculum and inspired the students to take on leadership programs and projects in order to um, better emphasize on their learning and inspire others to learn as well. From Voice for Change, we also created a workshop to create a discourse about the patriarchal stigma, rape culture and victim blaming mindset which exists in society and to have people talk about them and fix these mentalities in people. We then took these workshops to Silet and Chittagong to spread it to the local people and to people who probably have never heard of it or will never be able to talk about it. Self Defense 101 was a program to teach women of the community a few basic um, self defense techniques so that they can save themselves with, if ever they find themselves in an unfortunate situation. The, the project somewhat gave them a courage uh, to, if they ever find themselves in a tough situation, they can fight back. They will have the mental, I believe they will have the mental power to do the 15 projects have added a lot of diversity and obviously a lot of experience to the alumni and it has definitely set a new bar for the future alumni. I can't wait to see what the new alumni would come up with maybe in the 20th anniversary of the YES program and at the end of the day YES program is all we love.